Hello and welcome to this Innova Systems snippet video with me Adam Rose. In this video we're going to have a look at how you can create different types of section views within SolidWorks. I'm switching over to SolidWorks and I've already got a drawing created. I'm going to add some section views into this design. To start off with I'm going to add just a simple straightforward section view. You'll see it's available from the top toolbar. With the section view tool it gives us the line tool in order to position the item. It's always good to go into the design and try and pick up a sketch reference if we can to get the thing approximately in the right place. I'm starting from outside of the design and I'm drawing my line up through the model. If we want the section view to go all the way through the view we go to this position. If we only want a partial section cut we can leave it around about here. If we do have a partial section cut, it will give us an error message just warning us that that's what we're creating. The section scope may pop up in assembly views or in a part model that has more than one body. I'll position this item away from the design by dragging it out and clicking. Within this section view we can adjust the position of the letters by dragging them around and the arrows by dragging the dots at the end. We can flip the view by double clicking on it and then we have to rebuild our drawing. I'll just hit the rebuild button. Okay, And you'll see we'll be able to view the thing from the opposite direction. If we want to edit that original sketch we simply right click and select the edit sketch button. We can drag this thing to a different position so it's going all the way through the design and if I exit the sketch now it'll give us a warning if we don't select the line but that's fine. It'll update this section view so it's going all the way through the model. I'm going to right click again to edit the sketch a second time. I'll drag this thing down and I'm going to draw in some more lines. Once I've drawn those lines I'm going to select all the lines in this sketch before exiting. You'll see now we've actually sectioned through several parts of the design all at once but they're all being viewed from the direction of that arrow. If you want to insert a more complex section view, you can go to the section view tool and hit the drop down arrow below it to insert an aligned section view. This allows us to draw lines through the design and project out so we can see normal to both of those lines at the same time. Essentially we can see this face and this one at the same time. If you want to insert a broken out section view, we can select that from the toolbar as well. This allows me to draw a spline around the design. And I'll just draw several points and connect it in order to create the loop. We can then section through this design in just that area. A depth property will pop up in the property manager. We can define it by a dimension. If you turn on the preview it's a little bit easier to see. You can see the preview line appearing there and we can adjust that through the design. Alternatively we can select one of the parts of the model like this circle to have the section line positioned exactly in the center of that circle. I'll hit the tick and there's the three types of section view that you can create within SolidWorks. Thanks very much for watching.